Aggression and hostility. My fight response is on and I don't know how to turn it off. Anger keeps me safe. I don't know how to handle emotions. I don't feel safe. I see fret everywhere. Here are some tools to heal and manage aggression. Breath work. Therapy with a trauma therapist. Drinking cold water. Exercise. Meditation. Repeat a mantra. Take a cold shower. Give yourself a break. Inner child work. Progressive muscle relaxation. Keep a journal. Play music that puts you in a good mood. There is only one disorder in the DSM-5 that directly focuses on anger. Intermittent Explosive Disorder, IED. IED can seriously interfere with relationships and also negatively affect the quality of a person's life. Researchers have found that childhood trauma is one of the strongest contributors to developing IED in adulthood. Childhood is a very important time in our development. It's when we learn about interpersonal relationships and how to effectively manage our emotions. Childhood trauma can greatly disrupt this experience. As a result, people may not adequately learn how to manage their emotions or negotiate interpersonal relationships. Consequently, people with a history of childhood trauma may not know how to effectively control these emotions, resulting in strong anger impulses and destructive behaviours. Aggression can take many forms, but some are more aggressive than others. Quick to react or engagement in hostile behaviour, aggression is one of our many survival instincts. When trying to understand a person's behaviour, you must put all the weight in the world of the person's reality. People who feel unsafe interpret reality in a different way. They usually give meanings to each event in such a way that it matches their inner world. Aggression is caused in large part by the negative emotions that we experience as a result of adverse events that occur to us and by our perception of what is occurring. Because the aggressive person feels unsafe, the more aggressive the person is, the more unsafe they feel. Aggression is controlled in large part by the older part of the brain known as the amygdala. The amygdala is a brain region responsible for regulating our perceptions of and reactions to aggression and fear. The amygdala has connections with other body systems related to fear, including the sympathetic nervous system, facial responses and the release of neurotransmitters related to stress and aggression. The amygdala is activated in response to stimuli that we see as threatening or fear arousing. Although the amygdala helps us perceive and respond to danger, it also leads us to aggress.